think we are having an adult conversation about the subject here now and uh, there are other places in Canada that are having an adult conversation. I haven't come to ground in terms of how we should deal with this. I know that um, it's, there are all kinds of valid points being made on all sides of this debate and this argument. I'm looking forward to seeing how this resolution goes. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, the youth are really, um, you know, inspired by, by those kinds of things because they, they actually do the research that it takes to understand the this, this science behind it. Sure. Um, there's no medicinal value for alcohol, you know, there's no medicinal value for tobacco, but there is for the one that's illegal. And so it's a hard thing for people to understand and we feel that there's been sort of a propaganda war that been lost by the anti-prohibition crowd. One of the crowd. things that, we, that informs everything we're doing here this weekend is to reclaim uh, an open and an honest debate about issues that's evidence and science based. Uh, and the debate around the legalization of marijuana is one that I'm hoping that's happening here now is one that is open and evidence based. And there are all kinds of folks using all kinds of evidence and information to hopefully convince folks to vote one way or another. And that's what I'm looking forward to seeing this afternoon. And uh, it actually also touches uh, two subjects. One is youth yeah. um, and their involvement in politics. Yes. And the other is mental health. Yes. And I'm wondering, are, are current systems in place just inefficient or is there just not enough funding or is it both? Um, one of the reasons why we brought a Mental Health Opposition Day motion to the floor of the House of Commons as a caucus this last fall was precisely because we wanted to give some momentum to the debate around mental health issues. Mental health issues have a profound impact not just on health of an individual but a family, a community, has a huge bearing on productivity in terms of our organizations, our businesses, our NGOs, our schools, our faculties, our whatever. Um, and so we have to be open now. Uh, and there's another area where I think finally the question of, of mental health is coming out of the woodwork, so to speak, and people are accepting of an open debate about this. And I think that, uh, I think Bob Ray has done a fabulous job. He spearheaded this whole motion. It was just, I think, I think it was just magnanimous the way he did it. And that's our job as, as parliamentarians. Raise these issues, raise the profile, let people know it's okay. I remember when I began my career as a lawyer, as a young criminal lawyer uh, in my articling period here in Ottawa. I remember my biggest discovery was the relationship between the clients I was asked to work with and their dependency on substances or mental health issues. And I think a lot of criminologists will support those views, will, will, will share that evidence. And so we've got to be open. That's the way to tackle these things. I'll tell you one thing, building more jails ain't going to solve it. And well, one more thing before you go, yep. uh, youth. Is there a way to finally crack the armor of apathy and, hey, and get them to vote in higher numbers? of the people here are under 25. No other parties managed to pull that together in a national convention, to my knowledge, in the last 30 years. I think this is an incredible breakthrough for us. And to be frank and to be honest about it, I don't think we predicted this much kind of this this extent of youth take up. It's fabulous, and it's exactly what we need. Because look, you know, you have to pass the baton from generation to generation. A lot of we're standing on successive shoulders of successive generations of people who built the country and contributed and served, not just in public life but in all kinds of settings. And it's really good. It's really good to see people turning up. And at the Red Dog Project, we always end the interview with something lighthearted. So, yeah. who would win an arm wrestle between you and Dalton? Hey, listen. The only thing that I got to say about that is he may be the premier, but I can still take him. <laughs>